What's up, YouTube? My name is Clickwood, and I am back again, bringing you guys Season 2 of my head-to-head -head seasons on Madden 25 Ultimate Team. Now, a couple of you asked me to give you a quick update on my lineup. I haven't made a whole lot of changes to it, but I thought I would quickly rotate through it just so that you were kind of aware of, you know, exactly what I'm going into Season 2 with. Probably not going to make a whole lot of changes in Season 2, but we'll see how things go. Um, you know, we might have a couple of guys that aren't playing up to par. I might come across some coins and, you know, it might be time to upgrade a couple of the positions on my team. We'll see as things go on. But for episode one of this season, this is the lineup we're going with. Let's take a look now at my opponent's team as he has Andrew Luck at quarterback, Eddie Lacy at running back. Not a whole lot of talent here. I mean, it's not a bad team by any means, but definitely more of a budget squad than my team is not that my team's super expensive either but this one definitely not worth as many coins so that's a good thing good way to start off this season after the super bowl in my last game was not a good competition let's just put it that way i i was dominated from the minute that the game started till the end and obviously i'm going to need to make some improvements if i hope to walk away with the super bowl this season didn't start off too strong here on defense big game there as you saw 29 yards Finally, though, we're able to get some pressure here. Luck barely gets this one off. It would have been a huge loss for him there if we were actually able to get the sack. Didn't get it, though, and he was able to continue down the field. A missed interception there by my safety, and T.Y. Hilton toasts Deion Sanders. Let's take a closer look at this, because Deion's press just failed us there, and he did not, for some reason, have the recovery speed after our safety and troll roll ran into him, and that went for an easy touchdown. I was able to get things started though with Chris Johnson, that outside zone play that I love so much. Working again here in season two. We're gonna run it on back-to-back -back plays, this time to the right side. We move Donald Penn in motion to give him a different look here. He picks up a block, Vernon Davis picks up a block and it's a huge gain here, down to about the 43 yard line. Two plays later, it's third and 12 and most of the time you'd be passing here and I take advantage of that because Chris Johnson breaks a tackle and he runs for the big touchdown, tying this thing up at seven. And my opponent's now back on offense. He looks down the field, finds a wide open receiver for a huge gain. I don't know what happened there. That could have been my fault. I, I really don't know what I did wrong there. But thankfully, at least my run defense was working for me. We get another nice pass rush here. Luck drops it off for a screen, but Alden Smith is able to make a nice play in coverage. And he does not allow him to get the first down. Fourth and eight now. Watch this. We get the tip. It's up in the air. And oh my goodness. Somehow he came up with that Doug Baldwin uh, unbelievable catch. I have no idea uh, what this game was thinking. Next play, Derek Johnson lays the hammer on Andrew Luck, but he does not fumble. He's not injured, and he's able to pick up another first down here on third and five. He's moving the ball down the field fairly efficiently, taking a few bumps and bruises here and there, but not really turning the ball over and not making the big mistake. For some reason, I got stuck on Marcel Darius there, and I decided to just try and make a play in coverage. Nearly intercepted that one. Next play, though, second and 10. He's able to get the ball to Greg Olson over the middle. First play at the goal line, though. We do make the stop, but it didn't take too long after that for Eddie Lacy to break a tackle in the backfield and walk into the end zone for another touchdown. Back on offense now. The read option, Walter Payton down the field. Big gain. And again, another one to the opposite side of the field. Look at these blocks down the field by our tight end and wide receivers. They're making things happen for us. 21 seconds left now. We're going to move things on the ground still. Boom! Donald Penn, the IHOP employee of the month, picks up a big block. And we're down to about the 14-yard line now. And I think this was my biggest mistake of the game. With 12 seconds left and no timeouts, I decide to run a read option and I get tackled inbounds. I'm not able to put any points on the board before the half. Thankfully, though, I did get the ball coming out of the half and a big, big, big gain here on the first play. The outside zone works one more time and watch what happens here. This is why the play worked. Alshon Jeffrey is unreal at blocking. Two pancake blocks on one play for a wide receiver there and we're able to move it easily down the field. Reggie Bush runs in on the next play. Touchdown. We tie things up. Now my opponent's back on offense. He's still trying to pick up any yards on the ground. Just cannot do it. He's mixing things up, trying to run up the middle, trying to go outside, just nothing. But his passing game's working. 
And at this point, it's starting to get a little bit demoralizing because I cannot stop his passing game. I'm easily able to stop the run, but every time we get in these situations, second and long, third and long, he's just somehow able to find a hole in the zone or find somebody who beat his man. And here we are, third and five now. And again, he's going to pick up another big first down, beats Brent Grimes that time, and another big big gain 24 yards that time to Percy Harvin it's looking like he's gonna put another seven on the board until gotcha bitch Antrell Roll finally makes a play he finally steps up we get the ball back and guess what it is time to take the lead in this one the read options working again big gain here moving it down the field six rushes for 60 yards at this point for quarterback Walter Payton and Chris Johnson himself is having himself a beautiful game look at this spin move gorgeous another huge gain seven rushes for 210 yards at this point for chris johnson he picks up another first down on this one on third and two and we're down here at the goal line second and goal handoff up the middle chris johnson walks in completely untouched and now my opponent's got a chance to try and make a comeback here a minute 45 seconds left when he took the ball and look at this he is just going to start driving it down the field very smart efficient passing he's able to find holes in my defense this time to greg olson for a nice gain now at about midfield andrew luck's gonna look down the field he's gonna find a man open and oh man he's he, somehow able to hold on to that i don't know how the heck he held on to that next play andrew luck's gonna take off and he's gonna look to big gain big yardage here on the ground but we run him out of bounds with Derek johnson there didn't allow him to get big yardage with Andrew Luck. Luck is one of the more mobile quarterbacks that you can use in this game that's still a decent passer. So I was I was happy that we were able to keep him in check. 23 seconds here left on the clock and he's got to get into the end zone. He cannot settle for a field goal. And I know that. I know that he's going to be passing. I'm pass committing every single play. We're still getting a decent pass rush here with only three guys on the defensive line. That Alden Smith card, the Elvis Doomerville card, and the Marcel Darius card were able to, to combine to get some beautiful pass rush here in the clutch. Final play of the game now. I know he's got to score here. He does have 11 seconds left, and he could get a first down, but he tries to test the user, and Derek Johnson comes up with the pick to seal this game. We get the first W of the year in Season 2. I'm feeling good about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I had a lot of fun playing it. If you guys did like the video, please press that like button below. If you could leave a comment, I would appreciate that. And if you could press that subscribe button, that would really be amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.